Steve Thomas today. Steve is uh, just joined my company, but he's an absolute rock star, so we're super excited to have him on board. Uh, the reason I want to interview Steve, though, is he did something which I think is extremely rare. He sold $17 million in his second year in the business. And so I think a lot of people that are even experienced agents, but also new agents, want to know, you know, what's the secret sauce? How do I accomplish that level of volume? And you're on track to do even more this year. So kind of take us through your week, Steve. I mean, how, how do you run your business? Well, it's, uh, for me, it's all about relationships and uh, keeping close with people that love and care about me, mm -hmm. um, asking for referrals from them. Right. And I have that, I track that like really closely. So, How do you track it? The CRM? Well, I have uh, my 50 VIP uh, list that I have mm -hmm. and 50 past clients list. And uh, I I have systems in place for, um, for staying close with them. Mm -hmm. So a birthday plan for them, for mm -hmm. example. Call them, send a birthday card, and hopefully get in front of them and give them something. Wow. Um, so for everybody in your database? For, 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 for my 50 for VIPs. 50, 50 VIPs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, also try to kind of do a round uh, uh, kind of a certain, I don't know how many times, maybe once every three months, try to do a lunch with them mm -hmm. and buy them lunch or so coffee. We, we were talking about that the other day. How many, how many calls are you making a week? I aim for 60, like out, like actual oh, conversations. Yeah. 60 conversations, that means you're dialing the phone a lot more yeah. than 60, right? Yeah, and I, I don't hit that, <laughs> but I try to. Well, 60 is um, a lot, I mean, you think about that. That's it is, it's like if you really, it's like 60, when I first did it, it didn't seem like, a, it didn't seem like that much to me, but right. um, it is. You but, try to make 60 conversations a day on the phone, that's about, uh, like with a lead, a potential lead, um, that is, that's that's working your tail off trying to get that done um, so and the result of that is that you're doing how many networking meetings a week so you 60 calls a week how many networking meetings does that generate I try to do five um, like coffee or lunches with people so it's and once a day you're pretty much yep, with somebody. every day I'm doing something um, and um, and in those conversations, like you're at lunch with somebody, you're at coffee, there are people that you know, your sphere, are you asking for business or are you just yeah. having, you know, coffee? <laughs> no, I asked for it. You straight up ask. Yeah. It's like, what do you say? So I'll say, um, you know, my business is completely based off referrals. Uh -huh. um, it's, and, you know, I'll take care of them. Do you know anybody that are buy, that need to buy or sell? Well, you know, and, make them actually think about it. Right. Instead of just say, hey, send me someone, you know, I ask, I, I try to get them to think on that. Mm -hmm. um, whether they, that way they're, you know, when everybody asks for like, hey, send me business, here's some cards, but, you know, to like actually say, do you know of anybody mm -hmm. it forces right them now? Think. Yeah, and then it's on their mind for a little bit right? Um, until I talk to them again. You know, that will kind of, after a couple of weeks, it kind of goes to the back of their mind again. That's why you got to stay on top of them and like, you know, stay in touch. Now, is, that, is those meetings happening with your fifty, your top fifty, or just your whole database? Fifty. Just the top fifty. That's and those change. Handle. So the fifty VIP for me changes. So like I, I try to, you know, I might a past client might get put into there mm -hmm. over time. So and you got a larger database, but the top VIPs are who you're focusing on your time on. Yes, I got it. Yeah, the people that are referring the business are my VIPs. That's who's getting your. That's the only. That's how you get in there. <laughs> <It's> your <laughs> so, if you're referring me business, and then it's graded. So I, um, the ones who are referring me tons, they get they're like A plus, and then they have a, a very, like special kind of a plan that I try. So to what do you do with somebody that sends you multiple referrals over there? So they might for their birthday plan, they might get a two hundred fifty dollar gift. And they get, they get the extra treatment. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of go over the top with okay. like making sure they know that I, I really care about them and that uh, what about for like nor like we have a holidays coming up like we've got Father's Day we've got July 4th we've got you know all these holidays I'll try up. to send them a card mm -hmm. um, like an actual just a just a um, little note card mm -hmm. in the mail do you connect with all of them or majority on on your uh, social media as well is that part of your plan I'm terrible about that so <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm honestly am. It's totally so like, funny. I want to be involved with social media. I feel right. like it's important, and it's. I see people doing it, right. and I'm like, I'm, I'm not the most techie guy. Like, I'm not techie at all, actually. Um, well, so that's, I, but that's very interesting because I think a lot of newer agents, especially, think they've got to be all tech. It's all tech, tech. No, but I'm it's all relationships. It's all relationships. I'm all about, and I, I, these people I genuinely care about. Like, right. I would do anything for these people. They're your friends. Yeah, yeah. And right. they, you know, I'm really good at that part. Like, I'm good at, like, staying connected with them. And, mm -hmm. um, and we get, I get close with them. Yeah. What do you, do you do, a, like, a physical mailing to your entire database every month or anything like that? No. No, it's just those 50 VIPs. I should. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> and, hey, you're, what, are, what you're doing is working. I'd like to. <laughs> but I, it's more of, like, a personal connection. Uh -huh. You know, it's a very... Every time I connect with them, it's it's specific to them. How do you manage those VIPs? Are they just in your phone? Are they on a CRM or what? It's uh, I have a on an Excel spreadsheet. I have their names, mm -hmm. and then I have um, kind of their grade and like what, and then I have in my lead tracker like who referred it. So I track who gave me the lead who gave you and all the that lead. stuff. Yeah. Do you reform? Do you uh, reward referrals when they come in? Like somebody said, your referral. Do you immediately give them something for that? I immediately call them and I immediately send them like a five dollar Starbucks card, mm -hmm. and then um, and then I might send them a like twenty dollar gift. Talk to me because you are at the moment one of the top buyer agents in this community. Uh, we were just talking about that before we started the interview. Talk to me about how you work with the buyer. I mean, what is yours? How do you approach that? I try to do a buyer's consultation with Before them. you go out? Yeah. So what does that look like? So like I'll sit down, talk to them about their needs, wants, build some rapport, really focus on the rapport part. So You meet them at the office or somewhere else? Ideally at the office. Mm -hmm. I like to have it be a professional setting, mm -hmm. um, show them that I'm a realtor. And How hard do you qualify? Do you, do you qualify hard? Like are you pre-qualified with a lender? Do you talk to a local lender? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. where I do it in the consultation. In the consultation, I do. Okay. Yeah, and I'll get, I'll try to get the lender on the phone in the consultation. Really? And what will you say? Just like, honestly, qualified. I'll just be like, hey, you know, like, <laughs> so I did, <laughs> no, no, I won't get them qualified right then, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the next level. <laughs> no, but I'll try to get them on the phone so I can help with the transfer. Gotcha. So you make sure it happens. Yeah. Rather than saying, hey, let me just connect you with this person. Do I'm you gonna, do you have a conversation about loyalty like during that during that initial consultation, like? Yeah. What do you say? I, I will, and I'll just say, um, well, you know, I could work on that a little bit, but I try to tell them, like, you know, you're going to get, when you try to, anytime you have a property that you're looking at, make sure it's, you're connecting with me on it. Mm -hmm. If you want to use me as your realtor. Gotcha. Um, you know, and I don't, I don't do a, a pressure to have them use me. Right. I'm like, look, I'm gonna work really hard for you. I am excellent at negotiating. I will give everything I have, but I'd really like it if you'd be just loyal to me. Mm -hmm. So like when you're looking at properties, just send them to me and I will dig on it. I'm super responsive. Um, so that, I mean, I think that's the issue right there is that most people don't have that conversation and then they, they get upset that the client's not loyal, but they didn't have the conversation. Yeah. And I think you have to have that conversation. And I could maybe work on it, but I try to have that conversation in the buyer consultation. Mm -hmm. So, and I'll do it, and I do it in a way where it's, hey, you got to work with me. You got to, I do it like, hey, you can work with me mm -hmm. if you want to work with one of the best agents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or but, <can> but, <laughs> but um, this is what I will ask of you. Right. So I don't do any contract or anything like that. Just So when you're working with a buyer, are you how many homes will you show them at a time do you have any rules about that do you how do you go about that no i i try to keep it within like a couple of hours because mm -hmm. if it takes all day i mean that can be kind of exhausting i don't know if it's very good for the buyer really to no. like to see properties all day i think confuses people yeah and you can't even remember what is what even when you're taking notes exactly so like you know three to four so that's normally your process, three or four try properties. Try to. And how do you explain that to a buyer? Because what if a buyer says to you, I got 25 properties I want well, to I just see. tried to show, talk to this. I just talked to my a buyer yesterday about this conversation, <laughs> actually. Because um, she wanted to see um, every property, every horse property in Jackson and Josephine County. <laughs> like so, like, hundreds if of you properties. can imagine <laughs> what that would be like. Right. Um, I'm like, 
this is not we're not going to get anywhere with right. this. Yeah, like you're going to it's going to you know we're going to spin your wheels your your head will start getting fried yeah. and you're not going to be able to even know what you want anymore. Mhm. Mm -hmm. And so we got to narrow this down. Right. So like let's talk about these addresses. Busy street, too far, you know, like and just start narrowing it down. We could probably narrow it down to 5 to 10. Wow. And she was okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you explain the 